Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is NikitaNet and what I've got in front of me is a Powerfix Profi digital caliper as bought from Lidl. Now, the unit itself is of course here. The box is included with this package as is a manual. Also, well, there is a Maxwell Lithium CR2032 battery included which is in the unit right now. Um, it looks nice. It's clean um, sticker isn't properly attached but that's not the main issue I'm having with this unit I buy a lot of stuff from little and normally the stuff is very nice but this unit is not um, as you can see I'm reading out zero zero dot zero zero millimeters it's completely closed now let's force it beyond well below minus I guess uh, or whatever you want to call it but it's reading out now minus 0 0.04 millimeters and uh, that's not correct uh, normally these types of units have a specific specification it must uh, attain and uh, the manual specifies unfortunately for Powerfix Pro View and or little that um, the accuracy uh, in the 0 to 100 millimeters so 0 to 10 centimeter range is 0 0.02 millimeters plus or minus well it's minus huh, 0 0.034 or 5 millimeters and that's not good Another issue with the fit and finish of this unit is here. And I'll, I'll include a close-up picture. Uh, this part that runs over the analog readout, uh, that plastic bit here, is askew. It's not straight. It's not in straight. It's not even straight in line with the digital readout itself. And it's of course a fixed, in my opinion at least. But it's crooked so uh, closing it resetting it to zero and let's see if I can get it at the extreme point to the zero mark on the analog readout and in my best estimate it's something like 0 0.72 millimeters off and if you can see that uh, the other line on the other side of the analog readout is of course completely free so it's not even a proper analog readout if your battery runs out and of course I could fix that and such and such and such but this unit was bought to be within specifications for at least a warranty period of three years as is stated on the box so this unit is going back to the shop uh, it doesn't conform to its own specification specifications um, it's not good this unit at least I've tested and bought and uh, well can be reset to zero in any position that's of course nice but what zero I mean with what deviation hey I hope you found this video interesting and once again to reiterate this unit is subpar or substandard in regards to its own specifications. I hope if you've bought this unit you've got a better one and this was just a one-off error or something like that at least. Thanks for watching. Like this, like this video at your pleasure of course. Subscribe to the channel and uh, well see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Now there's also another little issue with it. Uh, let's turn it back to zero. This is a power fix, uh, well, screwdriver. Let's measure it though. I'm setting it right here. I'm reading, even with putting some pressure on it, 5 millimeters, 5.02 millimeters.
Now if I do it here, I'm reading 4.97 millimeters. That's a deviation of 0.05 millimeters over the length of the caliper. Well, the length of the caliper, at least it's a measuring surface. That's not good. That means it's sloppy.